Okay, let's pray. Hands together. Close your eyes. Very good. Thank you, Lord, for this day. Thank you that the children can come and learn from your word. I pray, Lord, that the uh, images will help them remember the lesson today. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Very good. Oh, who remembers what we learned last week? Here's a hint. You remember? About we learned about angels. What do angels look like? They look like men, don't they? And why was Jesus better than the angels? Do you remember the three reasons we talked about last week? What was one of them? He's a king. That's right, that's one of them. What about this one? The only begotten son. Very good. What's another one, Simon? The angels worship him. The angels will worship him. That's right. He rules over the angels, not the angels ruling over him. Isn't that right? That's why Jesus is better than the angels. Now today, we're looking at a short passage from the book of James. Now why do you think it's called the book of James? Why do you think? That's right, because James wrote it. Right? No, it's not always the case. You think First and Second Timothy, was that written by Timothy? No, that was a letter from Paul. So sometimes you just have to know. But James was written by James. And James, did you know James was the half-brother of Jesus? Did you know Jesus had half-brothers and sisters? Did you know that? Half-brothers and sisters. Why? Because God was Jesus' father. But Mary and Joseph, who were Jesus' earthly parents, they had other children. So Jesus had half-brothers and sisters. And James was one of them. And James did not believe on the Lord Jesus Christ when Jesus was here on this earth. But once Jesus rose again from the dead, that's when he realized Jesus was the Lord. So today, rise up here, everyone. Today, <laughs> you okay, Noah? <laughs> she got a blank look on her face. Be ye doers of the word. That's what we're learning about today in James. Be ye doers of the word. Why? Because what does James say? Let's look in James 1, verse 22. It says, But be ye doers doers of the word what is this talking about the word is talking about the bible be doers doing the word right doing what god tells us to do and not hearers only have a seat boys deceiving your own selves so what is the bible saying here you want to do what you hear in the word of god and not just listen sometimes you hear it but then you don't do it. And then what, what, what does the Bible say about somebody that hears the word and doesn't do the word? Look at this. Deceiving your own selves. What does it mean to be deceived? Who knows? What does it mean to be deceived? Right. To be tricked. It's a bit like this. Deceiving your own selves. Like cats looking in the mirror and he thinks he's a lion. But is he really a lion? No, that's what it's a bit like when you hear the Word of God, but you don't do it. Some people, they hear the Word of God a lot. They come to church every week. They listen to a lot of sermons, but if they don't do what they hear, why does the Bible say you're deceiving your own self? Because you think you're better than you really are. Right? You think you know a lot. You see yourself in the mirror. You see a lion. But what are you? A cat. So you don't want to be the cat. You actually want to be this. You do this. You do what you hear, then you'll be like the lion or the cat. Not just a cat looking in the mirror thinking he's a lion. It's a bit <laughs> deceived. Deceiving, he knows his own self, isn't he? Okay, let's go on. This is verse 23. For if any be a hearer of the word and not a doer, he is like unto a man beholding. What does it mean, beholding? Looking. Beholding his natural face in a glass natural meaning your physical face right so saying when you hear the word of god and you don't and you don't do it you're like looking at yourself in the mirror right like this man see how he's looking at himself in the mirror he's beholding his natural face in the glass did you know mirrors were made of glass that's why when you throw things you shouldn't throw things at the mirrors hey throw things at them they might break they break they shatter and they're dangerous don't put that in your mouth noah 
He's looking at his natural face in the glass. Let's look at verse 24. We're going to look at two more verses. For, this is like because. Because he beholdeth himself. For he beholdeth himself. He's looking at himself in the mirror like this guy. And goeth his way. And straightway. What does this word mean? It means immediately. You heard, ever heard of the word straight away? You need something straight away. He goeth his way. So he's going away. And immediately, straightway, forgetteth what manner of man he was. So what is the Bible saying here? Sometimes when you read God's word, it's a bit like a spiritual mirror, a bit like this. When you read God's word, you look at a reflection of yourself in the mirror, and you see yourself in the mirror, you see what sort of person you are. And the Bible's the same. Sometimes you look into the Bible, you read about what God expects from us and what we're like, and you get the real reflection of yourself. And what the Bible's saying here is if sometimes you hear the word of God, you look in the mirror, you see what you're like, but you don't do it. You're like forgetting what you actually look like in the mirror. Because when we look into the mirror, we might see this. But you know when you look into the mirror of God's word, you might see this. <laughs> this guy's having a bad hair day, isn't he? Imagine if you saw this in the mirror. See, all of you guys look nice and uh, neat this morning. Well groomed, see, and got your hair nice and tight. Imagine if you looked in the mirror and you saw this. Maybe you'd have the same expression as this guy. Like, whoa, see myself in the mirror. Now, what if you didn't do anything about it? What if you looked at yourself in the mirror, you saw this, and then you just went, oh, I think I look fine, I forgot. I forgot what I look like this. Am I right? So, yeah, well, exactly, that's right. You look the same, you wouldn't change. So, the Bible's saying, hey, if you look in the mirror and you see this, and you don't do anything about it, right? you're going to be a forgetful hearer. So you don't want to see yourself and not make a change. Verse 25. But whoso looketh into the perfect law of liberty, so this is talking about God's word, and continueth therein. So you look into God's word, you hear the word, and you do it, he being not a forgetful hearer. So you're not going to be like this guy, forgetting what you look like. <laughs> but a doer of the work. This man shall be blessed in his deed. Who wants to be blessed? I want to be blessed. Hey, if you want to be blessed, you don't want to just hear what you have to do and not do it. So what's some examples? Let's say you hear in the Bible. Children, obey your parents. Ah, but this is right. And you hear that word and you don't do it. Then what? What do you like? This guy. <laughs> you don't want to be this guy, right? What if you hear in the Bible, oh, I have to be kind. I have to be good to other people. And you don't do it. Maybe you're a bully or you're a bit mean to people. Eh? You hear the word, but you didn't do it. What do you like? You like this guy? No. You're like this guy. <laughs> and it's the same. What if you hear about Jesus? This would be the worst one, would it be? wouldn't it? Some people, they hear about Jesus Christ. They hear that they're a sinner. They hear that they need to believe on Jesus Christ and they don't. That would be the worst one, wouldn't it? You know, that we know about Jesus, we're a hearer of the word, but we're not a doer. We don't actually Put our faith on Jesus Christ. You're not going to receive the blessing of salvation that Jesus offers us on the cross. So we're all sinners. Good morning. We're all sinners. We hear about the Lord Jesus Christ, what he did for us. We hear the Bible say, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. And we don't want to just be a hearer of the word. We don't want to be this guy. We want to be a doer of the word. Right? Make sure we fix it when we see it. Okay? So, questions? Who remembers? What does it mean? What are you when you're a hearer of the word and not a doer of the word? What are you doing to yourself? Do you remember? Deceiving, deceiving your own self. Right? You want to deceive your own self. So what is it like when we read the Bible, what does the Bible liken it to? 
Who remembers? You guys remember? You right? Yeah, that's right. You're looking yourself in the mirror. When you read the Bible, the Bible says it's like beholding a natural face in the glass. We all did that this morning, didn't we? You probably got up, got changed. Did you look at yourself in the mirror today? It's probably a good idea, isn't it? Hey, it's the same spiritually. It's a good idea to look at yourself in the mirror so you have an accurate representation of what you are. And if you see this, what do you have to do? Not just a hearer of, a word, a hearer of the word, but a... Not just a hearer, but a... Do you remember? Not just a hearer, but a... A doer, right? And so you've got to do something about it. When you see a bad hair day like this, make sure you fix it. It's the same in God's Word. When you hear that you have to do something, you've got to make sure you do it. All right? Make sure we believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. Right, I've got a new picture here today. Craft, I changed it from the scissors to colouring in pencils. So Katerina has a craft for us today. Do you have an example for us, Katerina? Did you make one? Not today? Did you? Oh, that's alright. I'll just show him one of these. This one's bigger. Oh, you have two different ones, do you? Well, today what we're doing, even though we've got these mirrors, so we're going to decorate these like a Bible. Put a Bible verse in them, because remember, when you look into the perfect law of liberty, it's like you're beholding your natural face in the glass. So we're going to think, hey, this is a Bible. We open it. And we see our true reflection, don't we? All right, so let's stand up. Let's go to the back. And uh, let's see what Katarina's put together for us. 